Good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cyclone. It's time for Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Well, this is actually take three in my recording of these uh, Class 455 stereos. The first set of stereos I recorded at the same time as I originally recorded the West Coast Mainline North, and I must have decided something was wrong with them, or I lost those clips. I'm not sure which. Uh, in some, in some, I know that at least one of the two sets of clips were actually lost as a result of this old hard drive, which... Uh, I could probably plug into another computer and works, but apparently it doesn't work with my computer anymore. So I had to replace it with the SSD I'm now running uh, in glorious occasional leg on. We won't talk about that. But in any case, there was a second attempt to record these. I don't know what happened to those, but I never ripped those either. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them a third time, get them done right away and not think about them anymore. Because I don't want these sitting here, me thinking they're not done and uh, they're actually not done. So we're going to get them redone. We're going to get them reposted. And we're going to, we're going to get them posted rather. And then we're going to go to the South London Network 455 because that seems like a good logical way to do things. So here we are looking at the Southwest train. You can see this one is in two scenarios, end of shift and pushing the boundary. We also have the NSE one up here on uh, the uh, Sunday shuttle service, a 25 minute service. And we have a 20 minute service with the BR, British Railway one. So you can see the three different models that are being put to use in these scenarios. We're going to be starting with end of shift, not only because it's the one that we have uh, two cases of the train with, but because uh, it's also the source of the stairs. I'm going to go in the order of the 15, 20, 25. Let's try that again. 15, 20, 25, and 30 in that order. So I'm going in the order of shortest to long, excuse me, shortest to longest. My words are tied today. And uh, that means that we're going to be doing this end of shift stereo at 2340 at night which means we're at the end of the day and it's going to be super dark. Uh, my one memory of this is when you load the stereo, you think something is broken. It isn't. It's just dark. You don't see anything. It's designed. It's, dark. it's by design. It's dark. Uh, let's get started. Let's see how dark it actually is. Evening driver. When the signal aspect allows, proceed to Guildford Carriage Sidings. You are booked to set the units down in Guildford Carriage Sidings 2. Workers are on the track on the approach to Guildford, so make sure you acknowledge them. For Guildford shutting instructions, See the briefing in the F1 display. Well, that is bad stereo design. What do you think? Let's, uh, let's take the brakes off and get ourselves going. I told you it was dark, by the way, didn't I? I said it was dark. Here we go. So we'll bring the HUD up, and there we are. We are ready to go. I've already done the uh, AWS self-test reset while we were uh, reading that message, so that was taken care of, and I got ourselves going as we finished reading the message. There is no timing element on this. Uh, we can basically just do whatever we need to do. You can see that we just go straight in. So we're going to wait till we get ourselves going at our 90 mile per hour limit. Then we're going to go ahead and read the briefing a little bit more since we have the bad, horrible scenario design of having to read the briefing. Notice we're now under a 25. There was no sign indicating that we had a 25 limit. So that's also bad design. But this is an old route, so I'm, I don't expect it to ever be fixed or for anyone to really care because this is also a really old version of the train that no one cares about. Anyone today will use the one that comes with the uh, newer version of the Force Wealth Direct Line or the separate standalone DLC. There are two 455 standalone DLCs, so there you go. We have a 90 up here now. We're now moving into a 40 right after that. So 40 is effectively our limit. We need to, why are the headlights not on? They should be on, there they go. Now I can see that 40 sign. I think there's a train over there. Was there? No, it's something else. Not 100% sure what that was, but uh, there is a light up there. As much as I want to say that's a station, I don't think that actually is a station. That's just more a railway. Oh, it's the end of a buffer. There you go. There's a buffer. It's a, it's a track. That's all we need to know. Okay, let's go to 100% throttle and let's read our instructions. Work the 2345F46 Woking to Guildford Carriage Sidings at the end of your shift. Traffic is light, but watch out for track workers near Guildford. We know that. When you arrive at Guildford, you shall be placed into Guildford Platform 4. Switch cabs and then depart towards Woking. Okay. Stop at opposite facing GD610 so you can follow that signal's instruction when you have the switched cabs for the second time. You can then depart to the sidings. Good luck. Okay, you little... Fancy with our. Can I just reverse? Am I allowed to just reverse? I mean, the first time I played this, I just reversed. It's literally what I did. It 
So let's look at the map where we're going here. Because we need to do something in the dark here. We are on the blue line, so that's us right there. We're going to be coming up to a station here, which is known as Warplesdom. Warplesdom. I forgot. I had to look it up, okay? Warplesdom Station is coming up. I know Woken, I know Guilford, I forgot Warplesdom. Who remembers Warplesdom? Who wants to even go there? Oh, someone who lives there. Okay, good point. Yeah, I'll give you that. Speaking of Warplesdom, here it is. Hello, Warplesdom. Goodbye, Warplesdom. I cannot save you. So Guilford is naturally our next station at this point, and uh, given we know we're going to be stopping there uh, multiple times, I expect we're going to have a signal soon. Not yet though. signal, a train over there, which I did not really get a look at, but if I bring it up now, you can see Guildford Woking, if I look at it from the back end. So there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm happy to I'm feeling a little bit better from COVID. I'm not coughing every two or three minutes anymore, and I'm not having as many hard coughs, but I am still um, having a few of them. So I started recording this. Uh, I'm actually recording this on the day I published the first self on the network scenario, so I'm still well in the throes of COVID as I'm recording this. Probably as this comes out, I'm probably not going to really be coughing anymore. Maybe within a week I'll be fine. So um, I want to get these really short scenarios out though on the course of direct lines, so we're gonna we're gonna put up with a little bit here and there. I will do my best to uh, not have too much of me hacking and groaning though. We have a double yellow signal coming up, and wow, did I really lag there or what? That's a double yellow, which means I really need to start breaking, and I apparently I forgot I do not have the kind of break I thought I had there, so I'm gonna put a heavy break on now because of this red signal coming up towards the uh, station here. That red signal will be at the end of the platform, so we have to make sure we stop at that point. So I'm down to the 50 already. Yeah, the platform is actually between that 50 and that 25. You just don't see it. It's not marked as a waypoint. We have to, we're just being directed there uh, organically. So it is telling us that it is platform four we are coming up to right now. The reason I know the platform is right there is because that tunnel is after the platform. So that signal does have to be at the end of the platform, therefore that is platform four in the middle of those two signs. talk about this tunnel at a later time as we will go through at least once or twice over the course of this uh, 455 DLC. You see the twinkling lights of Guildford coming up. I don't see the construction crew we're supposed to watch out for. Now we cannot go past the end of the platform. That is a red signal. But at the same time, we also have to go far enough in that we are through the end of the platform. Then the tracks will change for us. You can see the signal just updated behind us. So we are now able to come to a full stop. Now they want us to change ends, which I don't understand why we have to change ends. I also don't understand why I suddenly had, I didn't respond to my signal when I was told to. But in any case, you can see we have a red signal. That's not going to change. Normally I would go ahead and just put the train into reverse and change ends at this point. But they tell us we're supposed to change ends. So um, 
Why not? Let's just change ends. Let's bring up the F4 HUD. Let's uh, do this. And let's uh, go back to the F3 HUD. And let's go forward instead. We'll do it. So we can apparently leave at 50 miles per hour, but no we're not. We're going to go to a 20 junction. What am I talking about? We're being sent to the M line right now, and that will update as we pass it. There we go. The signals do not operate that way realistically as well. They wait. They basically start flashing their green while the train is passing, or something like that, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. And then uh, it eventually turns red after you fully passed. <coughs> Pardon me again. So once again, we look behind us. I think this is not this is forward now. This is now behind us. So you can also see what we're doing on the map here. When we get in the right lane, we're going to be junctioned over to the yard. So you have to go just a little bit further here, and the yard will eventually. I think it's updated. Yeah, it's updated for the yard. We can come to a stop. Signal ahead should be a red. Well, no, it says green, apparently. I don't know. In any case, we're going to change ends again, because why not? So, end change. Empty. That's the wrong drain. There's the one I want to be in, I think. I hope. Maybe. Let's say, yep, we're in storage, carriage sign two. So that's exactly what we want to be. This is why I reverse, by the way. You can actually see the uh, HUD in front of you, or the things in front of you. Uh, by reversing, but oh well. But in the dark, you can't really see much anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Now, because we're not under any kind of speed limit, we could actually screech in at 30 if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that. We're going to behave. Behaving means not going to 16, which I almost did. pulling in next to another train here, which isn't anything. It's an idle service. We're going to get fully into the siding before we stop, and I'm going to apply the brakes now because we should be able to start slowing down as we get towards the end of this train. I'm going to slow down a little bit more. Ideally, we pull up right next to this train. This may or may not work. We're gonna poke our head out the window here. Wrong window. This window. Why are there passengers here? I'm gonna get my head clipped by a light pole. Ooh. There's the end of the train. So I'm gonna say that's good enough. We've arrived at our stop. That's the end of the scenario. Let's look at the train. So close. Oh well. Headlights are off. We're done. This is parked for the night. Let's actually turn the engine off. Because why not? Actually, that engine button might not work. Okay, the Z might not do it there. In any case, we're done. We're not going to move anymore. Well done, driver. This unit cannot be prepared for the morning's work. Yes, it can. Uh, make sure you tune in for the next scenario. It's going to be right behind this one. It's the 20-minute one. I told you what we're, or we're doing at the start of the scenario. So it's the 20-minute one coming up. I'll see you for that one. I believe it's the Sunday service, but we'll confirm that next time. So uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be right behind this one on my Portsmouth Direct Line playlist, which is, this is now the 11th video on that playlist, or uh, somewhere in that range. So uh, hey, bring up the rest of the playlist sometime and see what this old route looked like back in the day when we were driving trains on it normally. Uh, in the meantime, have a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you speak your part of the world, and stay tuned for that next video in three, two, one.